Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Velocity has several possible new birds in the works. Also, HAI cancels Heli Expo 2021, and Legato debacle continues. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's almost Friday. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode with the latest news that's happening in the aviation community. So let's go ahead and start with Velocity has several possible new birds in the works. An ANN visit to Velocity aircraft this week was an eye opener. One of the few true survivors of the once bustling sport plane kit industry, Velocity's decades of experience and a dedicated builder and owner community continued to show signs of strength and growth. Two ongoing projects possibly heading for kit production are pretty exciting. The Velocity V-Twin, which continues to be the best, hottest product at Velocity, is being stretched into a sixth place configuration. And one of the V-Twins will soon fly as a turboprop. There is one airframe currently fitted with PBS TP100 turboprop engines that can output as much as 240 horsepower to altitudes in the neighborhood of 30,000 feet. Currently, this is a one-off project built for a custom program, but the advent of yet another turboprop engine that may offer better fuel specifics and cost effectiveness may result in a whole new range of airplanes. The sixth place project has some novel features including including intriguing door entry options and cabin access that will allow passengers to access all the aft seats without undue gymnastics. More info soon. After the break, Space Florida licensed as commercial re-entry site operator. Those details after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Aviation's number one safety equipment manufacturer. New ELTs and safety products that activate life-saving rescues across the world. ELTs and safety products for every type of aircraft. General aviation, business jet, rotorcraft, commercial aircraft. Easy installation, affordable pricing, safety and reliability. Visit www.artex.com to view our selection of ELTs and safety products today. Artex, your best last chance. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Let's start with their legal Space Florida licensed as commercial re-entry site operator. After completing an assessment of potential environmental impacts, the Federal Aviation Administration approved Space Florida's application for a commercial space re-entry site operator license at the Shuttle Landing Facility in Titusville, Florida. The FAA determined that no significant environmental impacts would result from operations at the site. The license, which was issued after the company met old safety and risk requirements, is valid for five years. Free Flight Systems Datalink ADSB in receiver and transceiver earns AML STC. Free Flight Systems Datalink ADSB solution has received AML STC approval covering over 400 FAA Part 23 aircraft airframes for OEMs including Beechcraft, Cessna, Piper and more. The Datalink ADSB system, available in both receiver and transceiver options, has received five certifications for ADSB transmission on the 978 UAT frequency, receiving flight information broadcast services, receiving and processing aircraft surveillance application systems, receiving traffic information systems, broadcasting and global positioning systems. American Rocketry Challenge earns NAHF Spirit of Flight Award. 
The National Aviation Hall of Fame has announced that the 2020 Spirit of Flight Award will be presented to the American Rocketry Challenge. While the date and time of the presentation are yet to be determined, the NAHF is eager to share this wonderful news about one of the most impactful STEM programs in the world. The American Rocketry Challenge is the world's largest rocket contest with nearly 5,000 students nationwide competing annually. EASA certified 25-hour voice data recorders for air transport market. Honeywell and Curtis Wright's 25-hour cockpit voice recorder developed for the air transport market has received EASA TSO certification. The new Honeywell connected recorder 25 meets and exceeds the requirements of the upcoming 2021 EASA minimum 25-hour cockpit voice recording mandate for aircraft weighing over 27,000 kilograms. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Here's the latest on the HAI Heli Expo 2021. It's officially canceled. After an increase in rumors about important cancellations by critical companies in the helicopter industry like Sikorsky, Bell, Airbus, Robinson and more, HAI has made the decision that was expected to cancel. HAI boss Jim Viola sent us a note that explaining HAI has made the difficult decision to cancel HAI Heli Expo 2021, scheduled for late March in New Orleans. Since the coronavirus pandemic began in 2020, the HAI staff and our show partners have been working to carry out an in-person show while maintaining the health and safety of all participants. We took extraordinary steps to be able to conduct a safe event. While some in our industry have urged us to carry on with the show, the majority have recently expressed discomfort with the logistics involved in business travel at this time. HAI appreciates hearing from our diverse VTOL community, and we are grateful for the honest feedback that we've received from our members, exhibitors, attendees, and other stakeholders. After these messages, a letter was sent to the FCC to reconsider the Legato order. Those details after the break. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100 and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Legato debacle continues. Industry seeks immediate stay. The FCC still seems ignorant about the dangers posed by the Legato effort, one that represents extensive interference and hazards for the world's aircraft. On January 19th of this year, a broad coalition comprising 75 companies and trade organizations sent a letter to the chair and commissioners of the Federal Communications Commission, which regulates interstate and international communications by radio, television, wire, satellite, and cable in all 50 states, the District of Columbia and U.S. territories, an independent U.S. government agency overseen by Congress, the Commission is the federal agency responsible for implementing and enforcing America's communications law and regulations. The letter urges the FCC to grant an immediate stay and reconsider the Legato order in light of Congress's intent and decision to include provisions in the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2021, aimed at addressing the harmful impacts of the order to some systems, 
In part, the letter stated, We write to you today in response to the overwhelming bipartisan support Congress has expressed in the William M. Thornberry National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2021 for addressing the harmful interference that would be caused by the initial Legato order. We'll let you know what happens. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story suggestions or just to say hi. We'll see you next time.